I'm really delighted to introduce our next presenter, Mark Durate from East Print Incorporated. And he'll be today telling us about mass production of wearable biosensors, looking at a number of success stories and also uh, case studies. As usual, please write in your questions in the chat function on the right hand side. Don't be shy. We want it to be as interactive as possible. And Mark, I think I'm going to disappear now. I will leave the stage for you. Two minutes before the end, I would appear to give you the heads up and I will uh, moderate the Q&A for you. So uh, without any further delay, uh, the stage is yours. You may start. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, a little bit about myself. My name is Mark Duat, Director of Medical Sales for Use Print. I've got over 20 years of experience in product design, project and account management, as well as biz dev and sales management experience in the uh, printed electronic industry for body-worn medical and consumer patches, as well as electrodes and uh, human interface applications and assemblies. A little background on East Print and where we fit in this scheme of uh, business. East Print has been in business for more than 50 years as an electronic contract manufacturer and a designer of medical and consumable wearable patches, switch assemblies, printed sensors, electrodes, and other assemblies that do with medical. We're ISO 9001, 1345 certified. <clears throat> we also offer design assistance for cost-effective manufacturing of medical patches of screen printed electrodes, as well as smart clothing e-textiles. We're also an approved manufacturing partner for Lumia, who has a circuit technology for soft goods. Um, Eastprint is also an electronic contract manufacturer designer for human interface assemblies such as graphic overlays, membrane switches, in mold electronics, in mold decoration, capacitive touch film, silicone rubber keypads, and ultra thin light panel assemblies. Eastprint is an organization which has a global footprint with our headquarters in engineering located in North Andover, Massachusetts. Uh, medical converting operations and electronic assembly, which includes surface mount technology, are located in our low labor cost facility located in Juarez, Mexico. The aforementioned is also coupled with molding and um, operations for silicone, rubber, and plastics out of Asia. So mass production of wearable sensors. <clears throat> to cost effectively mass produce wearable biosensors, vertical integration of manufacturing and assembly operations is very key. Having the ability to print conductive inks on flexible substrates and fully perform converting operations such as lamination of medical grade adhesives, hydrocolloids, non-wovens, foam layers, hydrogel dispensing and or placement, as well as final packaging in-house is the best scenario to ensure cost effectiveness. Concerning printing capabilities, printing through hole capabilities of vital operation in order to provide double-sided circuits. The ability to print double-sided circuits allows for the design, the patches to keep the batteries, SMT, and any connections or other hard type of components on the non-patient side of the patch. This will ensure that the patch is comfortable and conformable to the patient. The ability to keep tooling costs low during development and prototyping is also very vital. For example, by utilizing semi-automated operations and low labor cost, it gives you the ability to keep tooling costs low and remain competitive into the millions per year. Once volume reached the multi-millions per year, capital investments will be required in order to further automate and remove costs, which at this point, the return on investment for any necessary capital investments will be re realized very, uh, very quickly. Having the ability to perform verification and validation operations such as IQ, OQ, and PQ is mandatory as well as having a medical ISO certification, which will most likely be a requirement. Also, depending on how much of the patch you produce coupled with a particular OEM's requirements, registering with the FDA will be most likely. <clears throat> the need to have the ability to design and manufacture custom in-circuit and functional test fixtures, as well as perform the aforementioned test per OEM standards will also be a requirement. Complete packaging, serialization, and lock control will most certainly be mandatory operations, as in today's industry, most companies are vir virtual and will need doctor stock services. <clears throat> now, I'm going to talk about some case st 